Hi, this is David Healy at LibraWave. This video is just me showing you what I've been working on. Um, there's a new update for Rhapsody, and uh, there's updates to all the instruments as well. So I just wanted to show off the new features and talk a bit about some of the stuff I've got coming up in the future that you can look forward to. And let's just get started with Rhapsody itself. So the UI has had a bit of a makeover, and uh, let's log out here so you can see the login screen has changed a bit. We've got a few links down here now, and it just looks a bit nicer, a bit more professional. We've still got the option to work offline, of course, so you don't have to sign in. So we've got most of the same controls. We've also got the addition of a favorites thing, so you can, um, if we click on one of these, we can set it to add to favorites. And then when we go to our favorites list, did I not do that one? Let's do that again, add to favorites. And there we go. When we go to our favorites list, just the favorites show up here, and we can remove them as well if we want to. We've also got this new library, Bell and Bone. Uh, I'm not going to do a walkthrough video uh, here. Um, in fact, I'm not going to do a walkthrough video of this at all because uh, there's already been one done by a Joe Blog composer. And I'll put a link to his video below this one in the description, and you can also find it on the LibraWave website. He's done a great job demonstrating the library. But this library, Bell and Bone, this is a freebie, and if you log into Rhapsody, it will show up and you can install it. In fact, let's just, I'm just going to uninstall it and reinstall it so you can see what it'll look like. So let's sign in. So there we go. So when you sign in now, you should see this showing up. If it's not showing up for you and you're using the latest version of Rhapsody, then there's some bugs, so you need to let me know about that. But it should just show up, and then you can just click to install it, choose where you want to put the samples, and it will take a moment to install, and then um, we'll be good to go. So that's it. So Bell and Bone is a sort of jazz age trumpet and trombone library, and I'm not set up for recording the instrument audio, so we're not going to be able to hear what it sounds like, but that's okay because it's a freebie. You can go and download it and hear it for yourself. But we'll take this opportunity to just have a quick look at the UI and I can show you some of the changes that have been implemented. So the velocity grid now looks a bit nicer and it's got this actual grid drawn on it so it's a bit easier to see where you're placing these nodes. And there's a bit of lag there because of my screen capture software, don't worry about that. And the other thing that's changed is this velocity grid is now independent for each articulation. So before it was one velocity grid for all of the articulations. Now you can set it for different articulations, which I think is really useful because it's unlikely you're going to want the same uh, velocity setting for staccato samples as you would for sustained samples, especially since they are set up to respond to velocity in different ways. So it's a nice little feature that we already had for the envelope. So it's nice to be able to um, apply that to velocity as well. Uh, there's been a few sort of cosmetic changes. The style of the knobs has changed, and now we can see the values below them, which I think is, is much better than we had before, because previously you had to click on it and you'd get a little pop-up with the value. Now you can just see it in real time. And we can see that also with the larger knobs here. Again, they've changed uh, their appearance, but they function in the same way. So yeah, we can see the number underneath, which shows the value of the knob. We can see the um, ring around it which also shows the value and of course the little marker on the knob shows the value so we've got three ways of seeing the same information which i think is a good way to go in bell and bone we also have these uh these mutes so we've got four options for the trumpet which is what we're on now and also four for the trombone let's load up the trombone quickly so it's the same four options bucket harmon and cup and this actually uses a similar system to my Sardina plugin, which is a, a mute emulator. So this is kind of like a cut down version of Sardina. And I really like the way this has come out and hopefully you'll enjoy it as well. I think it's a really nice little option and just enhances the instrument. So instead of getting a trumpet and trombone, you're essentially getting four trumpets and four trombones. Okay, so the other cosmetic change is uh, the Rhapsody button's gone because that was confusing a few people. And now it's just one of these sort of generic app buttons. So we can click this to go back to the Rhapsody uh, catalog. Click yes to confirm. And we can now also resize the UI by dragging in the bottom corner here. 
So you don't have to go into the settings menu now within the instruments. You can do that just directly from here. And that applies to the instruments as well. So we'll open a Cyrus here. So we can see we've got the same thing here, but this will only be there if you've updated the instruments. So you have to update the instruments separately to updating Rhapsody in order to get the new stuff in the instruments. Uh, so Cyrus has had a little bit of a makeover as well. Again, the knobs have um, changed and the velocity grid, uh, but the main difference is the Macam's settings. Uh, before it was just a knob when it was hard to read uh, because we had the text sort of coming off radially from the center of the knob. Now we've got it as this nice grid, which I think is much easier to um, interact with. And we've also got an additional Macam. And the only reason I added that was because there was a gap here because there wasn't enough to fill the grid. So I thought, might as well fill it up, add another Macam in there, because there are, there are hundreds of different Macams. So uh, it wasn't hard to find an extra one to go in there. And this works with the key switches as uh, in the previous version. Uh, the colouring on the keyboard is slightly different than it was in, in uh, the previous version of Rhapsody. It's very subtle, though. Um, when you hover your mouse over the green keys, for example, it's now a slightly dark green, where I think as before, it didn't matter what colour the key was, hovering over always turned them a sort of pinky orange colour. So I think that's a bit better now. Um, for the Macams, the colouring of the keys is a bit more subtle. So these two obviously greyed out, but we've got this one that's a slightly lighter shade, and um, that's for the half tones, or quarter tones, sorry. Okay, let's go back to the main catalogue. Okay, if we load up Michaela's harp. So again, same changes to the uh, velocity table. And the other new thing is the mixers had a bit of a makeover. So this also applies to modern Baron and any future instruments that have a mixer. So it's purely aesthetic. There's no sort of functional changes. But again, I think it shows the values of the controls um, a bit better. And we've got the purge buttons there. Again, it makes it a bit clearer which controls, which channels are actually purged. Maybe I should make these grey out as well when it's purged. Yeah, something to consider for a future update. Okay, so that's it, I think, for the changes to Rhapsody. Let's have a look in here. Um, oh, the tuning knobs have been tidied up a bit as well. They're now all on one line. And some redundant functionality has been removed. Um, you can see there's no zoom option here anymore, as we can... Now do that from down there, as we discussed. Um, but I think everything else is pretty much the same. Okay, so this is live now, this update. So you can go to the LibraWave website, LibraWave.com forward slash Rhapsody to download the latest version. It should sync automatically, but if not, click the sync button. And then any instruments you've installed uh, should have this little green download button. And you can click that to update the instrument. Okay, so that's it for the updates to Rhapsody. What else have I been working on? Okay, so my Mute Emulator plugin has had an update. In fact, it's had a complete rewrite. This is a totally different plugin. And uh, this will be being released probably in December 2023. I've just got a few more little things to finish off, but it basically has the same functionality as the current version, plus a load of additional mutes. So before it was just brass mutes. Now we've also got uh, cello, viola, violin, and bass should be in there somewhere. Contrabass, there we go. So a whole load of new mutes, and we've got effects like um, Ponticello. There's also uh, Flatando and uh, Colenio and Sultasto. Uh, they're not all in here yet. I've got a few more to add, but they sh will all be there for all of those string instruments. There's also a whole load of new trumpet mutes. Uh, I can't remember which ones are new, but there's there's loads of them. and of course, the interface is completely different. It's had a, a bit of a makeover as well. Uh, so that's to look forward to. And of course, I'll do a proper walkthrough video of this when the time comes. So I've also been working on a spatialization plugin called Outward. Uh, so this is a very simple plugin. It's a stereo widener, or if you're putting in a mono uh, signal, it has this option to turn it into a stereo signal. And then you can widen it and you can add a little bit of reverb. And this is a freebie. So uh, when it's ready and it's released, this will again just be something you can download for free. Now there's a little visualizer there. 
And if I turn stereo off, I'll um, turn the reverb off. We can see it's just a mono signal. Turn stereo on. So uh, a really simple little plugin, and that's a nice little freebie I'll be giving away. So I've got several other instrument projects on the go, but one thing I've been working on for the past few months and will be into the new year is a mariachi band library. I really have been wanting to do this for a number of years now, and I found the right team of people in uh, Mexico, lovely little studio, and a very talented band. This is the mariachi of uh, Oaxaca in uh, Mexico. They've been recording for me for the past few months. We've been doing remote recording sessions. Uh, so this was the band leader, uh, Giovanni, and that's uh, Nicola, the recording engineer. This session was for the Vuela, which is a kind of, um, it's a bit like a guitar, and it plays uh, sort of the higher part of the rhythm. So these are just some photos we took at the session, and uh, Giovanni was very nice and went and got his uh, full mariachi costume for us which is great. In fact, all the musicians did this. So in addition to recording tons of samples, which I still have to edit, and uh, taking some photos, we also recorded some videos. So every musician has recorded a little tutorial talking about their instrument and how it's used. And of course, it's in Spanish, so I'm going to get that translated and we'll have subtitles. But it's really great to hear from the actual musicians how their instruments are performed idiomatically in mariachi music. And it was wonderful hearing them play as well. And I don't know if you follow me on Twitter, X, whatever you want to call it, uh, but I did post some videos there of uh, the trumpeters playing a little duet, which was uh, nice. I think I might have posted some photos there as well. I don't really use it very much, but I do post there occasionally. So thank you very much for joining me for this rambly little update video. I hope you found it somewhat interesting. And Go and download Rhapsody and check out the free Bell and Bone instrument. I think you'll really enjoy it. It's got a nice jazzy sound. If you do have any questions or comments, please feel free to leave them below the video or just send me a message directly. Uh, you can email me through the LibraWave website. There's a contact form there. You can uh, send me a message from that. And I'm excited to get these updates out in the future. Sardine is coming very soon. Outward will follow. And uh, the Mariachi Band, which got a lot of work left to do before that's complete but I'm so excited to get that one out hopefully early next year. Once again thank you very much I'll see you next time.